All right, this is a 2005 Toyota Prius, my Prius, and I've got the P0A80 engine code and the dreaded red triangle of death. This is actually the second time this has happened to me in this car in the three years I've owned it. It happened a little over a year ago, and I found a local battery refurbisher online and had him take care of the battery for me. It was 500 bucks. The warranty was 12 months and 20,000 miles and it lasted me about 12 or 14 months and 25,000 miles. So I did better than the warranty but when the battery goes out on this car it's a huge pain in the ass so I can't have this car go down all the time. So I did some research and getting a refurbished battery, you're likely just to get a year out of it again. I like this car, so I don't want that to happen. I'd like to own it a little bit more than a year. So, doing some research, your best bet is a new battery from Toyota. Or this company, NewPriusBatteries.com, has this kit to update the battery to a more modern, different type of cell or module. So, we are going to crack this open, get this installed, and see how it works. For reference, right now it's noon on a Tuesday, so we'll see when we get this car back up and going. Let's take a look and see what we have inside the box. Alright, let's open this thing up and see what we got. check my email because uh, I got instructions in my email. We will get those out. Alright, we got two of these. I assume this is all the cells or modules for the Prius. And here is what they look like. Here's what they look like. My first impressions are good, I guess. I mean, I haven't taken apart the original battery before, but uh, I guess we're about to, and we're going to install a bunch of these. gonna look pretty cool. Here's the instructions uh, that accompanied the new PriusBatteries.com battery replacement. I've looked through these. The instructions are incredible. They're super highly detailed. Every single step it tells you where the fasteners are, what size the fasteners are. So these instructions are pretty great. Most of them are in black and white, but I printed them in color. A few of the things are in color, so. Um, it's divided into three phases. Phase one is remove the battery. Phase two, we're gonna disassemble the battery and install our new modules. And then phase three is put the battery back in the car. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with phase one.
so we got phase one done, got the battery out. I followed the instructions as exactly how they were described. Everything worked fine, and uh, phase one took me about 45 minutes. So we're about to crack into this, tear this apart, take the old stuff out, put the new stuff in, and then phase two will be complete. So we'll go ahead and get phase two knocked out. Alright, here's our rebuilt battery. You didn't get to see the end of the time lapse because my iPhone died. But just in case you're wondering, if your iPhone dies while doing a time lapse, it does save that time lapse. Okay, so I got this all reassembled. The instructions again were great, super clear. Everything went together as it said. I didn't have any problems. The only thing I would make a note of is the temperature sensors on some of these modules. It says on the Gen 2, which my Prius is, that you can put the modules or the temp sensors on the modules on the bottom side. Um, I think it would be extremely difficult to do that, but the instructions also say that it recommends you put them on the top. So I put them on the top, but if you're going to move them to the top, you're going to have to pull the harness for that out before you insert all the cells. So maybe just change that around before you put the cells, make sure you pull the harness for the temp sensors before you slide all these modules in. Other than that, everything was great. The only other complaint I had is I thought these black plastic safety caps were a little cheap, but they actually include extra ones. So I broke one of them doing this, but they gave me four extras. So. I'm pretty happy with the kit. Phase 2 is complete. It probably took me about three hours uh, and I took a break in there so not very long at all. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing back in the car and see how it works. Alright, I got the Prius all put back together. Everything worked great. The directions were fantastic. Uh, while I had everything torn apart, I went ahead and vacuumed out the inside. Um, I have kids and dogs, so there was a bunch of goldfish crackers and dog hair all over the inside. So you want to do that because there's that fan that recirculates air around the battery. So you don't want that to get gummed up with dog hair and debris and whatnot. So everything's put back together. Let's go fire it up and see if it works. All right, hopefully this isn't too shaky for you. Let's go ahead and fire this up, see if it works. and nothing's happening. All right, I turned the car off and back on and of course it works and I, of course I didn't get it on camera, but everything looks good so far. I have no triangle of death and the car's running with no check engine light or anything like that. All right, everything's back installed. I took it for a test drive. Everything's great. First time I fired the car up, 
bunch of warning lights came on, nothing happened. I turned the car off, turned it back on, it fired up no problem, no check engine light, no red triangle of death. Took the car for a drive about five miles, everything seems great. Um, my impression of the kit from PriusBatteries.com, it showed up quickly, everything looked great, the packaging was perfectly fine, everything went in as it said, the directions while not included, you could print them, gave you a PDF, that's perfectly fine with me. The directions were spot on and highly detailed. Uh, I had no problem doing this. Total time for me was about five hours, and that includes a pretty long break and making this video. I think uh, a person with moderate mechanical skill should be able to do this in five hours, no problem. Um, with the directions supplied, it's super easy. Uh, other than that, everything's good. I've got five miles on the car, no problems. Uh, we'll see what it's like when I've got 5,000 miles on it. Thank you.